Hi, I'm Tom Wood. Welcome to the top 10 money saving moving tips. Hey, whether your move is in two weeks, six months, two months, a year, planning ahead, thinking about it, looking for tips, you're in the right place. Tip number one is RMP research and planning. Uh, like the president Dwight Eisenhower said, plans are nothing. Planning is everything. Basically just means don't handcuff yourself with a rigid plan. We, yes, you do want to plan. Yes. You want to know who your moving company is or how you're going to do it. Sometimes the trucks aren't available. Sometimes they're coming the day after if something happens, don't stress out. You're going to have your plan. You're going to have your moving folder. We're going to, you know, you're, you're going to be set up. So the main thing is, is just don't stress yourself out. It's tip number one. All right. So here's the second part of RMP and that is the research and planning. Where are you going to do that at? Go to moving.com. It's part of the realtor.com family and I am a realtor. So that's how I know about it. It's moving.com. If you go there, this is going to show you we moved from Cambridge, Ohio, down here to Lexington, South Carolina. Absolutely love it. Best decision ever. You can see that you can select the number of bedrooms. You can select whether you're going to do all the packing. Maybe you'll do part of the packing. That's what I put in the notes here. And whether you're going to let them do the whole thing. You're going to pick the date that you want to move on. That's going to, it's going to calculate from zip code to zip code, or if you put in your information, it's going to calculate the number of miles and then you just click show cost estimate. So here is the estimated cost. You can see this is for partial. So it's 5,600 to 7,500 for that amount. You click this button and it's going to say, get quotes from professional movers. You'll enter your information. They'll reach out to you and provide you some quotes. This was for a partial. The one below it was I, cl I clicked the full move button and that shows 6,900 to 9,300. So it kind of gave me some rough numbers to play with. If you're looking and you're not at the moving stage, you can still reach out, get some quotes, talk to them, um, get some information. So there's a lot of good things that you can do there. They have a bunch of moving companies, moving containers, truck rental storage, car shipping resources. There's guides. There is a ton of tools at moving.com. So very good resource uh, for research and planning. Um, like I said, I'm a realtor. You can reach out if you're moving here to Lexington. I can tell you about some of the movers we have in the area that also do long distance, short distance, have great reviews. Um, hope to talk to you. All right. So that's the end of research and planning. We're going to be moving on. All right. Tip number two, downsize, declutter. Uh, it's one and the same in some in most cases you're you're trying to the best time to downsize and declutter is when you're moving let's face it you're going to be touching everything in your house whether it's your basement your garage your storage whatever so you're going to be handling everything so go through it downsize what you don't need what you don't want to take with you some things are like is it going to be worth the expense do you want to take that 20 year old couch or a chair that's falling apart or something. Do you want to take those things with you? You can downsize, you can declutter, you can sell, donate, recycle those things you don't want anymore. Um, you know, the less stuff you have to move, the less cost you're going to have involved in it. So it's time for a fresh start. You know, make your list for what you're keeping, what you're donating, what you're selling. Maybe the things you sell are going to be enough to pay for your move. Tip three, do your own packing. Professional packing services are expensive. It takes money hour. It, it takes man hours and money to pay those guys. They do an excellent job. Um, their boxes are going to be 
stacked, filled, everything. So there is, you know, that's what you're paying for. But if you believe that you all can do a good job, then I would save money and do the packing. We did ours and it turned out pretty good. We didn't have too much trouble. So you can save a lot of money doing that. Make sure, um, label, label the boxes, use fragile stickers and yeah, good luck. You got this. Okay, tip four, compare moving companies, get different quotes from multiple companies. I've always tried to do at least three. When I worked in factories, that was the golden rule for us. When we purchase something, get three prices. And I believe that that is a great rule. I try to use that in my personal life. When you're looking at something, look online, check three prices. So there you go. Do that and ask questions. All right. Tip four, get quotes. Tip five, move during off peak times. While you're getting those quotes, go ahead, reach out, ask, you know, do you get a discount if it's during the day, during a weekday versus a weekend, or maybe the time of day, or maybe, you know, there's going to be holidays and things coming up too. So, just ask what kind of discounts they may have or the time of day or what they may work with you on. It may save you hundreds of dollars, you know. So ask those questions. You're going to be getting the quote anyway. Ask about off-peak times and if they have any discounts. Thanks. Number six, use free used boxes and packing materials. Yep, use boxes and packing materials you know like the bubble the bubbles the styrofoam peanuts all those things if you know you're going to be moving when you're getting packages or reach out to some local business and ask them if they'll save some of these things for you let you know and you can pick them up so do that it's going to save you a lot of money if you are doing your own packing uh, if you're having professionals pack for you more than likely they're going to want to use their boxes and new boxes. So there's no issues. So, but you know, if you're doing your packing, reach out, ask these people, a lot of them, you probably know, maybe it's where you work. It's going to save money. All right. Number seven, ask friends for help. I just had a friend ask me for help. He's actually closing on his house tomorrow. And me and a buddy went over. We both have trucks and uh, trailers, so we went over. We helped him load up. We each made a couple trips, and we got most of his heavy stuff. And in the first trip, the second trip around, we loaded a bunch of the smaller stuff. Two trailer loads was a whole lot more than his van can get. So he was down to where he just had the smaller stuff, a couple loads. So ask your friends. You know, if you have friends, family members in the area that are able, you know, or you can hire some neighbor kids or something, but you know, if you have high dollar items, those things you might want to be careful with, let the professionals do, or if you think you guys can handle it, there you go. Um, so yeah, just make sure though, when your friends want help back that you, that you're helpful. <laughs> All right, number eight, disconnect utilities, turn off the trash, miscellaneous services. Uh, if you're, you know, if you're going to sell your home and you're in the process, you have it listed or whatever, talk to your realtor before you disconnect your utilities. Typically, utilities are left on so that the people looking at your house are going to be able to have lights <laughs> or, you know, water depending on the time of year. So that's another thing. You don't want your water pipes freezing or if you have sump pumps or uh, maybe alarm system. So keep that in mind. Uh, also think about those area memberships and things. Maybe it's your gym if you're moving out of the area. Uh, could be a number of things that you're, you know, you're mem paying memberships for. So just keep those things in mind. And it can help save you some money. Turn those things off before you look at your credit card. And six months later, you've been paying for these things. All right. That's number eight. Disconnect utilities. Trash. All right. So unless you, number nine. 
get ahead of myself. Uh, avoid buying new furniture. You're just moving into the house, getting set up. So unless you know that you don't have a couch or you don't have a bed or something that you need, don't run out and buy a bunch of new furniture for the deck or every room that you may end up with more furniture than you need or you you don't know until you really get into a house, get a feel for it and what you want. So remember, this is a, a new start anyway. So take your time on getting excited, enjoy it, and uh, figure out what you want in the house. Number 10, take advantage of tax deductions. Uh, if you're moving for work or you have a home office, uh, for your, if you're an entrepreneur, if you have your own business, um, there's various things. So reach out to your tax professionals, find out what you can take off, make sure you keep your moving receipts, um, all those things. So number 10, take advantage of your tax deductions.